It is tick week here at New Center, Maine, and really the invasion is real. So our goal this week is to make you smarter and give you a defense system. With the explosion in the number of ticks and tick related illnesses like Lyme disease, there is a small but silver lining. Companies trying to help you survive are also popping up all over. New Center's Vivian Lee joins us now to tell us more about that. Hi, Viv. Well, Pat and Lindsay, main businesses are going after a growing market of customers wanting to protect themselves against ticks. In response, more lawn care and pest control businesses are offering services to protect folks in their own backyards. I hadn't even seen it through at least two baths and multiple diaper changes because um, it was so small. Carrie Chugnowski remembers finding what looked like a piece of lint in her son Evan's belly button when he was a baby. That tiny fleck turned out to be a nymph, the last stage before it becomes an adult deer tick. Tests determined the nymph had been attached to her son for several days. Evan went on a course of antibiotics and fortunately didn't have any symptoms of Lyme disease. So Carrie believes her son may have been exposed while playing in the sandbox in the backyard. So she decided to take action. Seeing that tick on my eight month old baby was like so scary and I just, I'd, I'd rather pay the money, have my property protected. <laughs> Carrie called Mainly Ticks, a company based in southern Maine that has been managing ticks on residential properties for 15 years. Bob Murray is the co-founder of the company. Most of the calls we get, not surprisingly, are from moms. His company first evaluates the perimeter of a customer's yard to determine where pets and kids are picking up ticks. It's usually that leaf litter, that interface between the lawn and the wooded edge. We know that that is the source of the ticks. Lately, Murray says it's been a challenge to keep up with the demand from customers who want to protect their families. So many of our customers with tick-borne diseases never ever want to see another tick again. The company treats lawns with a commonly used synthetic pesticide called bifethrin. Pest management technicians use one tablespoon of pesticide per 20 gallons of water. The company recommends two treatments a year in the spring and fall. Other customers opt to get their yards treated every 68 weeks. Carrie's son is now nine and she's a regular customer. We still do tick checks um, and every night and I've actually never found a tick since then. Now white-footed or field mice are the most common rodent that infect deer ticks with bacteria that cause diseases. Experts say homeowners can add another layer of protection by using tick control tubes, which are stuffed with cotton. The cotton is soaked in pomethrin, a repellent that incapacitates ticks. Rodents get treated using them in their nests. Ray also provides homeowners with information on what diseases ticks carry and the importance of regular tick checks and treating clothes with permethrin, which need to be sprayed on clothing before they're worn. The company also gives detailed pictures of ticks to help homeowners spot the difference. Both the deer and wood tick have U-shaped backs, but the big difference can be seen the coloring of their lower back region. A female deer tick's lower back is red, while a female wood tick has a black lower back. Male ticks look slightly different. We look first to educate, and then we look to exterminate. Now the surge in businesses include companies selling alternative treatments to help with symptoms of Lyme disease and we'll have that story coming up next on News Center at 6. And we will be right back with that. 